Shalom, shalom. Our first, first thing and foremost, we want to give all praises and glory and honor uh, due to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem Rakakwadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone and Ruel. Blessings and salutations to the whole elect. No is in a gospel by lifting up the standard of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, wherever it may be. You know, this is just kind of a follow up to this brother's video. Um, I peeped the video that the elder brother Manada Zagba from South Carolina had done regarding this out of order Israelite woman here, which titles these Hebrew Israelite women are some of the worst. Don't defend them. And my video was not towards her per se, because I mean, the brothers already covered that topic. Um, and she's completely out of order. She's completely off. And the scriptures go into the woman not teaching as the scriptures say women are supposed to line and learn in silence and all subjection and obedience as says the law but you know one thing that really grinds my gears as they say that really pisses me the fuck off is you bitch ass israelites man okay ain't none worse than a bitch ass nigga that know he's an israelite but come to the defense of a wicked ass woman or a woman that's going off now, brothers that, you know, know me or that may be kind of close to me, they know that um, I don't really have a have zero tolerance for women's bullshit. Like, you know, over the years, I've gotten on women quite a bit. All of us brothers, you know. But I've ran into some instances that these women had a pretty big following, you know, and I've done videos on certain, like one in particular was this chick on social media. And I, she was completely going off, completely out of order, you know, and actually showing her face on camera. You know, and that's the big thing. You're not supposed to be seen, let alone heard. Okay. And I was pretty much going in on a video and that video went viral. And what do you know? 600 comments later full of bitch ass niggas, simps, emotional niggas, bigots, and a bunch of feminists coming to the defense of this Israelite woman when they claim that uh, they supposed to love their brothers. Right. Now, this is a similar situation. A brother rebuked this lady here. Because clearly she doesn't agree with the multiple wives thing, but she must not read Isaiah 4 and 1. And, you know, one thing about the multiple wives is very sore for women. And, and that's the test to see if a woman is really, truly about this truth. If you got a so-called woman that claimed to believe in Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, test her, uh, yeah, test her chin with that with that multiple wives thing and see how she fared up with that. Then that's when all the... Uh, the American ideologies and the insecurities will show themselves. It will rear his ugly head. All that shalom shit, that shalom brother shalom, all that bullshit they say goes out the window because that's all it is is a bunch of bullshit when it comes from them. All right, so basically the brother is getting on her and then he's basically responding to a bitch ass a simp. All right, and I'm gonna call it the way it is because you niggas, you need to, you niggas, need, you need to be clinked up for real. You need to be straight up put out of your misery and. I don't hold punches, you know what I'm saying? I don't I don't hold punches and we tell it straightforward, especially, you know, the men of the Great Millstone. But niggas like you need to be put to death, all right? You need to be unalived. Because here the brother is going into the, the, the scriptures, he's breaking it down, and yet you got a nigga that gets offended because of what he said she looked like. Alright? But even more so, this comment here, and this is really a response to this Peter Johnson character. Okay, which he may be a bot, could be an Edomite, you know, because um, I don't really know too many Jakes by the name of, well, then again, you know, he may be, he, he may be, who knows? He don't have a, any handle, he doesn't have a face on his page, he doesn't have uh, uh, any videos or nothing, but yeah, he has a lot, a lot of, he has a lot of lips, and I say that hypothetically because clearly he's typing this, which is still a form of communication. So he said, you just lost a sub, brother. And I use the term lightly. She's our sister that you are disrespecting. But you seem to think your behavior is righteous. And this is the same sentiment. This is the same thing that the brother's rebuking now. All because the brother rebuked this bitch. All of a sudden, you niggas, you, you sissy. You ain't even real men. You sissy boys. You get mad all because he corrects the woman because she's out of order. You got to be the weakest form of a fucking male or the male, or the male species that was ever created, man. Ain't nothing worse than a beta male nigga, man. All right? And that's why I pray to you, how about you, how shy, that we get that power because I kid you not. Just like my elder bro, Yak say, he said, we going to jump over Edomites to get to you damn niggas. And you know what? 
I second, third, and fourth that statement because you, Jake's, got to fucking go. All right? Nothing disgusts me more than a two-thirds, man. You niggas are like, you're like, you're like fucking cancer that needs to be totally cut out of the body, man. Because you don't serve a purpose. You're that offended. And then you had the brother, uh, uh, Yawasop Hopeful Lagger, which I don't know who this brother is, but either way it go, he came to the defense. He says, by the biblical definition, you are not a brother. Neither is this rebellious woman. Where is your ministry at? That's a legitimate question. Yeah, because it always be the men that have the most to say with the less works. They have nothing to prove the works. They're not going out to the streets. They sit behind this keyboard, parroting, talking shit, but yet they got the most lip, but yet they don't put any works forth. But the minute you put a woman on screen and you're rebuking her, all because he's a mama's boy and he loved the black, he, uh, he loved his black woman, you know, he loves the black woman, his mama with his daughter is a so-called black woman. Niggas get butt hurt because they take offense because they mamas. Okay, this is the spirit of a fucking mama's boy. Like, Several times, Keisha was like, well, yo, mama black. And what the fuck that's supposed to mean, man? She, she's black. So what? What that's supposed to mean for me? I don't give a fuck. She's just a woman. All right? And technically honest, if my mother wasn't my mother, I wouldn't give two fucks about her. And that's just real talk. Now, let somebody say this. Let, let, let watch a nigga get offended at that. Oh, my God. He said, I don't give a, he don't give a fuck about his mother. Didn't say that. But I did say that if she wasn't my mother, I wouldn't give two fucks about her. So if somebody say, well, yo mama a black woman, I don't give a fuck. That don't move me. But yo mama, I don't, I don't, I'm not moved by mama shit. Because I don't really give a fuck, man. You know? But this is the spirit that these niggas are coming in. And it's nothing more and more frustrating than a nigga that want to sit up and defend evil. Like the scriptures say, follow not a multitude to do evil, man. And it says here, he typed Matthews 12 and 48, which I don't have to read it. We all know that scripture. And then this clown respond, where in scripture does God say she can't teach? And I was speaking on you disrespecting a sister. She's not a sister because as the brother just text the scripture, she's not doing the will of the father. So she's an infidel. She's a heathen. Okay. She's nobody to be regarded. And this is what these niggas don't understand. But he's going off the fact, well, because she's an Israelite. Man, look. A lot of Jakes know they're Israelites, but that don't mean they have the best interest of your how about she mean how was shy. And they damn sure ain't got the best interest of our black asses. So why do we give a shit about them for? Okay, our job is to reach the hopeful elect. And that's that's our job. Okay, the Lord made it that much more easier because he said, you know what? Just write niggas off. Focus on these people here. Don't worry about them. Hey, shit, say less. You know? Straight up, man, because you Jakes can't be taught. But then he says, and I was speaking on you disrespecting the sister. People need to run away from anything you teach because you have no brotherly love towards others. Well, you're not our brother, man. Clearly, you're not our brother. Then the brother, 1 Timothy 2 and 12. But I suffer not a woman to teach, nor to absorb authority over the man, but to be in silence. Excellent scripture. Brotherly love is for brothers. If you don't teach, then you're not a brother. Or if you teach false doctrine, then you're not a brother. You need to read before you come around trying to correct people. Exactly. Then he said, I asked you to show me what God said it was allowed. Is Paul or any other disciple able to overrule the most high? Are you fucking stupid? Didn't the Lord, matter of fact, let's do this, man. Let me uh let me come back to this. Let's do this, man. Uh, I think this is Luke 10. Because see, niggas don't understand that the Lord speaks through his men, his servants. All right. Um, where is it? No, is it? No, I think it's Luke. Is it Luke? Yep, this is the book of Luke 10 and 16. It says, He that heareth you, heareth me. And he that despiseth you, despiseth me. And he that despiseth me, despiseth him that sent me. So he was talking to his, his disciples, which later became apostles. Paul follows that same sentiment, man. Because Paul was moved by the spirit of Yahweh by Shimei Hawashai. Unlike some other guys teach, well, and Paul's letters are not biblical or all that, whatever the hell they talk about. It's only canon when it fits their, their dogma. But read it again, Luke 10 and 16, it says, He that heareth you heareth me, and he that despiseth you despiseth me, and he that despiseth me despiseth him that sent me. So if you hear the men of the Lord coming from the right doctrine, the right truth, the right perspective, 
then you were hearing Yahweh Bashim and Yahweh Shai. So that's a cut to this demon here from running his mouth. Let's get another one. 2 Peter 1, 20. All right. This is the second book of Peter 1, and I'm going to start at verses 21. It says, For prophecy came not in old time by the will of men, but holy men of Yahweh spake as they were moved by the Holy Ghost. Now, isn't Paul considered a holy man of the Lord? Acts 19 said so because he had the power to cast out demons, right? And only a, a righteous man of the Lord can cast out a demon in sincerity, man. So you going off, bro. With that emotion, and this is the reason why a lot of you jakes are getting ready to get straight up roped up because your fucking emotions are all over the place. You can't accept the woman getting put in our place. And this is the reason why a lot of these women uh, uh, are, are out of order because a lot of bitch ass niggas like you and the brother and the, and the nigga who the brother's rebuking allow these women to do the wickedness that they're doing. This is the reason why they fucking out of line. And the crazy part about it is these women don't even respect you niggas that come in the spirit. You know, you're doing all that simping and jumping through fiery hula hoops just to protect some demon that won't even give you the fucking used box, man. You're wasting your time. This is why I say a lot of you niggas got to be straight up put down. 1 Corinthians 14, 37, it says, If any man think himself to be a prophet or spiritual, let him acknowledge the things that I wrote unto you are the commandments of the Lord. Cut. So Paul is writing, He's it, this is the will of the Heavenly Father. The commandments of Yahweh Hashem and Yahweh Shai. That's the word of the Most High, right? Okay, the whole Bible is the word of the Most High. But Paul is speaking from authority given to him through Yahweh Shai, man. Which Yahweh Shai has the authority through the Most High Yahweh. It says, furthering, showing that you haven't read and don't understand the Bible. You're dismissed. Proverbs 14 and 7. It says, go from the presence of a foolish man when thou perceivest not in him the lips of knowledge. Right, so... At this point, brother ain't got to even do nothing to say nothing. Really, this video don't even have to be done. But it just irritated my spirit because it's always niggas like this. Like, if I would have done a video on this same woman, I probably would have had 600 of these niggas on here rebuking me, condemning me. You know what I'm saying? Oh, y'all, brother, you you this, you ain't right. Look at how you talk. Just a bunch of bitch assness, man. When none of these clowns are even standing up for you, how was shy. But they be quick to defend these wicked ass hoes that call themselves Israelites. And a lot of these Israelite women... Ain't nothing but fucking harlots, man. A lot of them are agents, and most of them are agents for Satan, man. All right? She wouldn't defend your black ass if she had the means to do it. Why you coming over here being a fucking uh, 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 a simp, man? It says, show me in scripture where God says that. He just showed you, dumbass. Plus, you do not know. It says, plus, you do know that Miriam was also considered a prophet. But even then, a prophetess is not a person that teaches, man. And I've done a video on that maybe almost a year ago, around this time. And on top of that, do she have the authority to usurp over the men of the Lord? Because last time I checked, the Most High put leprosy on Miriam, cast her out of the camp, to shut her ass up for seven days because she came against Moses. Never said what he did to Aaron, but she got rebuked, man. So that's your point. It says, and was Deborah, but I never said she should teach. I said you disrespect the sister, so I can only imagine what you teach. Well, fuck off. It ain't for you anyway. All right, and mind your business. It ain't got nothing to do with you. Let's do this real quick. Uh, da, 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 what is this? First Corinthians. Uh, First Corinthians. Yep, first, yep, and the brother actually, he could have went up to 34. First Corinthians 14 and 33, For Yahweh is not the altar of confusion, but of peace as in all the churches of the saints. Women bring confusion. This is why they're not allowed to do certain things. They bring confusion. It says, Let your woman keep silence in the churches, for it's not permitted unto them to speak. Meaning, they don't have the permission to run their fucking mouth. And then when you bring this out, well, that's what Paul said. What God say? Peep this, but they are commanded to be under obedience as also said the law. So for you Israelites out there that want to say, well, where's that in the law of God? Paul just said also said the law. So that's the cut. So either way it go, checkmate, nigga. You have nothing else to say. So why are you defending this woman, right? Let's peep this. Uh, what is it? Sirach 11 and 10. This is the book of uh, Sirach 11. 
and I'm going to start at verses 8. It says, answer not before thou hast heard the cause, neither interrupt men in the midst of their talk. Now, put this right. I guarantee you to have these niggas that's complaining about this video. They probably watched three or four minutes of the video. And then when he made a certain comment that they bitch asses didn't adhere to, then all of a sudden they immediately responded on a comment board, you know, and put their little two cents in because they didn't like the way that he, oh, I don't like that. You didn't even hear the whole video out, man. Scripture say, answer not before thou hast heard the cause, neither interrupt men in the midst of their talk. Okay. So you supposed to hear the matter out, then you go so forth. And that happens a lot. I remember there was this one demon and there's a spirit. I had put a curse on his ass and the Lord put his wife in the fucking hospital. I think she had like terminal cancer or some shit or some type of, because he used to come on my page and, and scoffing and talking shit. First, I thought it was uh, this chick I used to deal with because, you know, women, they'll do that. They'll make up pages and they'll hop on other brothers' pages and try to put brothers against one another, you know. So I thought that was going on because these women, they don't respect this ministry, nor do they respect us, nor what we do. So I don't put it past a bitch to do anything that grimy. But anyway, I figured it was actually a, 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 a just a bugged out dude. He didn't, he didn't, he had a problem with me because I come rough sometimes, most of the time, right? And this simple nigga watched a whole two hour camp, didn't have nothing to say about the camp, completely edifying. But the minute we cursed Keisha out, called her out of fucking name because she was completely out of order. That's when this bitch ass nigga decides to come in and get mad. Oh, he called the woman a bitch and did it, did it, did it, did it, did it, did it, But yet, out of uh, one hour, 59 minutes, 44 seconds, shy of two hours, he had nothing else to say to that two-hour mark when we cursed the bitch out. Then he get on there complaining and all his other shit. Like a pussy, man. Like a bitch-ass nigga. You know, and, and it really irritates my spirit, man, because niggas are really that fucking petty. So I put a curse on his ass and the Lord put his fucking wife in a fucking hospital. And I don't know what came of it at, at this point. She probably dropped dead, you know. And you know what? So be it. That's what you get for fucking running your goddamn mouth to the men of the Lord. Because me personally, I don't give a damn what happened to any of you jakes that ain't right. Okay? It's not my concern. It's not our concern. You know? And I'm just straightforward like that. Call it hate, whatever the hell you want to call it. I don't really give a fuck. And if you don't like it, unsubscribe from the channel and go fucking playing your fucking asshole somewhere. We don't care, man. All right? Because like I said, this simp shit got to fucking stop, man. And it's going to stop through death. Because the most high is going to bring a, a, a mass sweeping of death through this place and wipe a lot of you jakes right out, man. And I pray like hell that we're, we're, we're justified in the eyes of Yahweh by Shemi Yahweh Shai. Because, you know, even ourselves, man, we're not exempt from the Lord's punishment. You know? But you jakes, man. You much more the child of hell. It says, strive not in a matter that concern thee not, and sit not in judgment with sinners, right? This had nothing to do with you. Why are you running your mouth, man? Defending somebody that don't even give two shits about your existence. Remember these black women said that when you get gunned down in the streets, don't call them to march. So the same woman you're trying to jump in front of and, and open the buggy door for to carry our groceries up the stairs because you want her to acknowledge yourself as... Remember, these black women don't give a damn about you, Nick Rose, man. And it says, my son, meddle not with many matters. For if thou meddle much, thou should not be innocent. So by default, you're in fall of judgment, man. In danger of judgment. And if thou follow after, thou should not obtain, neither should thou escape by fleeing. So eventually, the Most High is going to catch up with guys like this, man. Because like I said, it's 2024 and you still got Jake's that's acting like a bunch of, just a bunch of, Bunch of bunch of pussies, man. Just soft as hell. Mad because the brother said something. You disrespecting that sister. That sister disrespected herself because for one thing, she ain't supposed to be out there putting her face out there. Second of all, she ain't got her fucking head covered. Third of all, most importantly, she's going off in the scriptures. Okay? That's off. That's wickedness. Call that shit out, man. Instead of you trying to hop on a man in the Lord's comment talking your shit because you dissatisfied with his speech. Then fuck off somewhere, man. And all you people that think and act like this dude, oh, you lost a subscriber. So be it. We don't, we, look, we're not gung-ho by subscribe. We ain't like these immature Israelites that get hurt because they ain't got the following or they want the following they want. We ain't, we ain't coming that spirit. Me personally, I don't give a damn if any of you watch this video or watch me. I don't care. 
We're not moved by likes and views and showing our face on camera. I don't give a fuck about none of that shit, man. All right? Find somebody that give a fuck about I don't give a fuck about that shit. Well, you lost a subscriber, brother. Go ahead. I, I pray all you niggas unsubscribe, man, because you ain't gonna, you ain't, it ain't for you any goddamn way. I'm offended in your speech, brother. Shut your ass up, man. Be offended when the missiles hit you. That's, that's what you be offended by. Man. First edge is four. And I'm going to start at verses 26. Yeah, many that be have run out their wits for women and become servants for their sake. Wits goes into wisdom. Men have lost their mind behind this shit, man. Behind a bunch of used pussy, man. And don't get it twisted. We've all ran out of our wits for women before. Unknowingly or sometimes shit just happened. It catches up with you. It catches you off guard. They say the punch that knocks you out is the one you don't see coming. And trust me, we've all been caught by that fucking left hook. I call it, that's that Ryan Garcia hook. That motherfucker swift. And if you get caught with it, you going, hey, it's lights out. Okay, I don't know too many people that can survive Ryan Garcia's left hook. That motherfucker is quick and it's unexpected. His jab is shit, but hey, if he set you up, he develop a jab and some good footwork, and he know how to pivot off that jab and throw that hook, hey, man, he'll sleep a lot of niggas with that left hook, and that's sometimes you get caught with that. I've been caught with that motherfucker a couple times, man, and they had to get back up and like, you know what, I'm tripping, bro. Appreciate you tripping. Get up, you know? Straight up, it, and it happens, but then you got some guys that just don't want to learn from that. You know, they just don't want to learn. They don't want to come to realization that, Bro, chill. It's going to be cool. Just chill out. Scriptures say, gird up thy loins and be a man, right? But it says, yea, many that be have run out their wits for women and become servant for their sakes. And this guy's a servant. He's coming to the defense of a woman that don't even know you exist. You know? Oh, you lost a sub, brother. Okay, well, go, go be it. I brother got like 5,000 extra more subs. What's one less sub going to make a difference to the ministry? You just proved that you ain't of the elect, so that's cool. Have a nice day. Go float somewhere. All right? And it says here, many have also perished and have erred in sin for women. And how many crash dummies out there, like they had the shows back in the, back in the day, back in the 90s, when they used to show the, the vehicles and they will put the crash dummies in there to test the efficiency of the vehicle. They will put the crash dummies in there and they will run into like a concrete wall and a dummy just explodes. That's a lot of you dudes for these women. You know, you're crashing out on a, on a bunch of used goods. You know, this is it's crazy. It's kind of like Pookie in the uh, prom queen in the New Jack City movie. <laughs> when he beat her ass over that turkey, that shit was all bitten up <laughs> and he beat her ass. She's like, I was prom queen at King High School. This is beneath me. <laughs> and then he started laughing at her ass. <laughs> he said, baby, you used to be the prom queen, but you ain't nothing but the prom fiend. <laughs> then he started putting hands on him, man. Fighting over used turkey, bro. Crackhead turkey. And that's you, Jakes. All right, last precept, Proverbs 26 and 17. It says, He that passeth by and meddleth with strife belonging not to him is like one that taketh a dog by the ears, man. All right. And it says, And as a madman who casteth firebrands, arrows, and death. But the point is, it's like you taking a dog by the ears. It's like you going into an uh, uh, overly aggressive pit bull's yard and you fucking with him, man. You're going to get bit the hell up. You know, so you Jakes keep on simping for these women and until the wrath of the Heavenly Father come upon you, man. All right. So anyway, I'm going to end it giving all praises and glory and honor. That's due to you. How about Shimmy? How shy? Lord's will you will edify to the next lesson. Shalom and may the Most High bring a swift destruction on this fucking woman here. The, 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 the demon that the brother's rebuking in this, this clown's name, Peter Johnson ass nigga, face ass nigga. May the Most High bring judgment. On all three of you niggas simultaneously. And with that, Shalom, Kwame Yashirala, Baba Ball.